combining images is going to be discussed a lot more in depth in the next module. So this may be a little advanced, but I'll show you a real simple way to do this. Uh, there are a variety of ways that you can do this, and again, they'll be you'll be learning learning a lot more about it in the next module. Um, so I'm going to do this and try to keep things in order. And the first way is that um, that you can do this is by choosing the move tool. I'll go on over to the background um, image, and I'm going to go ahead and click on it and I'm going to move it over kind of a drag and drop type of thing and move it into place. So it's a real simple, real easy um, way to do it. Um, and then to keep this in order here and also practicing more skills and getting in a good habit and a good workflow, um, rename your layers so you can um, keep keep them um, in, in order and know what you're working on in each layer. So I'm going to go um, over and do the same thing here. Well, not the same thing, but I'll show you a different way. So here, um, you can just simply do a select all and a copy and a paste. And uh, you can do the, essentially the same thing. So it's the entire layer that you're bringing over. So um, real, real simple, easy ways to do it. Okay, so now um, you want to make sure, so I did this in order, you want to make sure that the, that the order is, the background is below um, what you're going to be using to mask. Um, so um, I did that and also rename them. And again, I will recommend that you um, do the same thing. So now, what selection tool do you think will work the best? What selection tool are you really good at? Well, what you choose may not be the same as me. And again, everybody's going to have you know their own thoughts about this, and I don't think there's really any wrong answers. Um, but for me personally, I really like the quick selection tool. So that's what I'm going to start with. I'm going to go over here and grab the quick selection tool. So um, I think you've gotten from some of the other uh, videos that I've that I've done here for this class. I'm not really good at multitasking, particularly when I'm working and talking. I just can't do it. So while I make the selection, I may pause for a bit here, um, uh, and it may be a little silent. So, oops, I'm gonna go ahead. And you know, to keep this, I don't know, a little different, I'm going to just make a selection of the foreground. I mean, you can do this either way and just, um, you can select all the mountains as well. Um, but I'm going to make it a little more abstract and different by just selecting the arch. Okay, so again, here, I don't want all of this included, so I'm going to hit the Option key, and I'm going to drag that out. So, so my selection looks pretty good, and there are a couple of areas up here that can be uh, that can be refined. So I'm going to zoom in so I can see a little bit better. And again, this quick selection tool actually does a really great job. And again, I've already mentioned that I really like it, but you use whatever tool you think is gonna be best for the job and, and also keep in mind which tool you're really good at using. So um, with this selection active, um, you can do a couple of different things. You can either just go down here to the mask icon and click on that and it will create a mask based on what you have selected or you can and and then you would re refine the mask of course or you can go into the select and mask um, option up here to refine your edge 
So I'm actually going to work in here for a little bit and make my mask based off of this refinement.